All right, welcome to episode four from our chapter eight series of screencasts on photosynthesis. And this screencast is going to be all about chlorophyll and a chemical process called photolysis, which will help reload chlorophyll with electrons. All right, plants use chlorophyll to capture the energy from sunlight. But first off, where do you find chlorophyll? Oops. Well, chlorophyll is found, let me put this right here. Chlorophyll is going to be found on the thylakoid membrane. And if you don't know what a thylakoid is, it's think of it like uh, green coins, and obviously they're in a chloroplast. Okay, this should just be a review from your chapter on cells, which for my kids are just last chapter. We just got done with that one. Okay, so remember this. Chlorophyll's green. It's going to be found on the green coins inside a chlor chloroplast, and those green coins are called a thylakoid. Okay, so what does chlorophyll look like? Well, it's kind of a magnesium lollipop, and it looks kind of like a phospholipid. So just like a phospholipid, it has a polar head, and it's going to have a non-polar tail. So just by this structure alone, you can see how it fits inside a membrane perfectly. Now, it, it's not a phospholipid. You could call it a magnesium lipid, but we don't call it that. So instead of having a P right in here, it's got magnesium, whose chemical signal is that. So I like to remember this as a magnesium lollipop. Kind of like one of those safety lollipops, but you've cut it off, so it's got two sticks. Okay, so you got a green magnesium at the top, and then you got two sticks. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, now when light hits chlorophyll, um, that magnesium atom, it's a type of metal. Metals like to get rid of their electrons really easy. So when light hits this magnesium, an electron's going to pop right off. Okay, now when an electron gets full of energy, we say that it gets excited. So the word excited means gained energy. Whoops, misspelled energy there for a second. Okay, so what happens is the energy from light is transferred to an electron, and then that electron is going to be used to do something a little bit later in photosynthesis. All right, now we need to replace this electron back to this chlorophyll, or photosynthesis is going to stop. And that's going to be done through a process called photolysis. Now, photolysis comes from the word photo, which means light, and the word lysis, which means to break down. So what you're doing in photolysis is you are using light to break a water molecule, and when you break a water molecule, you're going to create two things. You're going to release that electron, and that's going to go back to magnesium, but you're going to make a waste product called oxygen. Okay. Now, in your note packet, you have a picture just like this, and you need to, to put in these extra things here. So these things here are missing from your picture. Now, I think Mr. Sun needs some smiley face. Okay, so here's how this starts. Now remember, light energy is called a photon. So a photon hits this magnesium, and that causes an electron to, be, to pop off. Okay, and this will be used later by what is called the light-dependent reactions. And we're going to get to those later. So light-dependent, LD for short. Now, we need to replace this electron that popped off, and that's going to come through a process that's happening right in here, and this is the one that's called photolysis. If you say photolysis to yourself, you're going to spell this correctly. This photon hits this water molecule. It breaks in half. When it breaks in half, it's going to produce three things. Oxygen as a waste product. That's the oxygen that we breathe in. It comes from photosynthesis. Um, some hydrogen ions, those are going to be used later, and this electron, which is going to go to chlorophyll to replace the one that is missing, okay? I want you to make a mark of this one because this one sounds like an S-A question, okay? So make sure you know this one. Good chance of being an S-A question on your celebration of knowledge. All right, so let's get rid of that one, and we're going to move on to the last slide here. What's the definition of a pigment? 
A pigment is anything that absorbs some colors of light but reflects others. So if you remember Roy G. Biv, your colors of the rainbow, uh, a blue shirt looks blue because it absorbs all the other colors except it's reflecting blue light black, or I'm sorry, blue light back. Okay, so chlorophyll is green because it's absorbing all the other colors, but it's reflecting the green one. All right, now, what colors does chlorophyll absorb the best? Blues, reds, and violets. And it's these colors, let's go with green, these colors are going to be used to power photosynthesis. We don't get any power from green because that's reflected. But most photosynthesis is going to happen in these colors right here. Blues, reds, and violets. All right, so here we've got a graph that shows you the information that I just told you. If you can remember, let's go back here to the green, is that the favorite colors for photosynthesis are blue, red, and violet, also known as purple, okay? So as you can see here at the peaks, Violets are in this color. They're in the 400 to 450 nanometers in length. So this peak here shows you that violet is the main color. Blue has the highest intensity, or I'm sorry, the highest absorption rate. So blue is the favorite color of plants to do their work. Now notice down here, when you're in the green and yellows, it's like zero. That's because green gets reflected. So we'll say green is reflected by chlorophyll. That's why a leaf looks green. And then once we get down here to the reds, we're starting to see that they're being absorbed again, right? Now there's a chlorophyll A and there's a chlorophyll B. They got a slightly different uh, chemical structure, but they both do the same thing. They're gonna capture that photon and that's gonna cause an electron to pop off and that's gonna be used to power the rest of the photosynthetic processes. And you're gonna go through a process called photolysis to replace that electron on that chlorophyll molecule. Okay, another short and sweet one. Uh, until next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side.